it's Angela again here at the Chicken Coop. I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit and give y'all a handy little tip that I used to do when I went back to uh, nursing school and then also once I became a nurse and was working full time and I was actually working the night shift. I worked night shift for like eight years. And so these were some of the organizational things that I did uh, to help me and also help my husband if he had to pre help prepare a meal uh, when we were um, young and had our kids and I went back to school uh, for nursing school in like 1998 I believe is when I went back and um, I graduated in 2001 I went back for a year of some preliminary classes that I needed and then two years of nursing school and I graduated in 2001 and then I was uh, I was worked the night shift for eight years and then I was moved to day shift um, but my luckily when our kids were little and let's say at that time our, when I went back to school my kid uh, my daughter was eight years old and my son was 11 years old and so they were just into everything and school and trying to keep up with what all I needed to get done and then you know continue to run a household where you know my husband was used to me just taking care of everything and you know he pretty much just worked i did work outside of the home but i always worked just part-time so i was able to you know do a lot and most of all the organizational things of the household so these were some of the this was one of the things that i did i was like i've got to get a handle on this i've got to try to do better about uh, cooking and making meals and being more prepared so what i would do is i would sit down and try to kind of make out a menu not necessarily for each night of the week but just you know three or four meals ahead of time this is what we were going to eat you know if one meal took a little bit more time and intricate things to cook i would try to save that for when i was able to cook it and then give my husband something that was kind of quick and easy but uh but i would have the things prepared uh, or if like we were having to run to uh, you know a baseball game or a football game or something that you know it took we didn't have a lot of time I would I wasn't so strict about when everything was going to occur but that we had those meals available and I could switch them out to which ones some were a little bit more difficult and some were easier but what I would do so I would go through and I would kind of plan a menu for about three or four days I would go shopping for that or look at what I had in my pantry that was available and bring those things home and then I would put usually I, tr I had these baskets they're in my pantry and I can get let's see one two three four baskets across a row when I put them in there like this okay when I set them in there like this I can get four baskets across one of the rows in my pantry and I had these baskets in there and what I would do is I would make it and I, I found these actually when I was looking for the tea recipe in my uh, one of my cookbooks so this is kind of what spurred me on to think about this what I used to do uh, was I had these little menu things planned out little cards just on scratch paper like this night I was gonna have sausage, sausage vegetable soup rolls and grilled cheese real easy uh, this one, twice baked potatoes in a salad. Uh, this one, lasagna, salad, green beans, and garlic bread. Uh, let's see. This one, I was going to have chicken wild rice soup, salad, garlic biscuits, and a peach crisp. Um, this one, Mexican chicken casserole in a salad. Uh, gumbo, garlic, biscuits. Corn chowder, salad, uh, corn chowder, salad, cornbread, or garlic biscuits, whichever one. Mexican chicken salad, oh, I'm sorry, Me Mexican chicken chili salad and cornbread. Sausage, cabbage, mac and cheese and corn. Broccoli chicken cup salad cookies. Beef tips and rice, I've given you all that recipe already. And Mexican chili chickens, ch Mexican chicken chili salad and chips. And then sometimes if I needed the recipe, I would write the recipe on the back of it so that I would, I had everything I needed on this little sheet of paper. Or if my husband had to do it, he kind of had the recipe with the instructions of how to do it. So what I would do is I would come home from the grocery store. I had been shopping, wrote my menu plan out, brought all the groceries home. And what, instead of just putting everything up in the pantry, 
I would take whatever it took to make that meal, I would go through those ingredients list and I would put it in this basket, okay? And usually I would try to do like two meals at a time. Of course, the meat or whatever was in the freezer and I would have had set that out from, you know, in the refrigerator to defrost or whatever like that. But any canned goods, sometimes some spices, whatever I felt like uh, needed to, to go in here, I would put it in this basket. So usually I could get about two meals per basket. And then I would take whatever that meal was and I would paper clip it to the front of the basket so that I would know that these were the ingredients for those two meals. So number one, it saved me because I was planning my meals and planning my menus. And I don't care what you say, when you plan your meals and plan your menus and cook them, it's always cheaper cheaper than when you're stressed and you have to go and buy something processed or already pre-cooked or something like that. But having your meals and cooking them at home is always cheaper. So number one, it's a little cheaper and it's, it was less stressful for me because I knew that if I couldn't cook it, my husband could fix it. I had some things there available, okay, that were easy to do. And so I would have these things, I would have these baskets lined up in my pantry and ready to cook. And then also it saved me from my husband saying, calling me at work or whatever and saying, I can't find that can of whatever you're talking about. I can't find where is the spice that goes to this? Where's the instructions for this? So uh, luckily, you know, he was pretty good at, you know, following some simple instructions. I always had just quick, easy, simple meals. Nothing big and elaborate, okay? We just needed to get fed for the night, okay? So, that's what I did. And one of the things that brought me back to this is because we, I haven't done this in a long time because my kids are way long gone and grown, but we are spending way too much money going out to eat. You know, I, I, Feel like I don't have anything in my pantry ready when I need to to cook a meal and that just bothers me I try to be a really organized uh, person and a really organized housewife and also too I'm ready to retire folks I got to start saving some money so I can retire so I can quit work, working so I thought that is one of my things that I'm gonna try to do for the first for the new year is to try to be more organized and go back to this system because when I did this this really worked this was a good system for me good system for our family and I you know it's just an idea for you y'all may have a different way of doing it too I'd love to hear from you so make some comments about how you plan your meals and your menus and how you uh, organize that in your pantry uh, I would love to hear all those ideas for you maybe I can share it on a next video so this is Angela from the chicken coop and uh, I hope this helps you for the next year to get organized and helps these young mothers. I feel like if, you know, we've all been there, done that, and if we don't help them, you know, life is just getting more and more stressful and more and more out of hand. So anything we can do to help them, it could be helpful for them. So thank y'all for watching and coming to visit with me. Bye-bye.